And in this question, we will go on and investigate a little bit what's going on here in the baby's brain. So, let me ask you a little question. Language, does it come from the left side of the brain or the right side of the brain? Yes, you got it, from the left side. And this is easy to remember because language starts with L, so it's the left side of the brain. Now let me ask you another question. Sign language, does it come from the left side or the right side of the brain? You got it again. Sign language come both from the left and the right side of the brain. How could it be? Well, sign language is both a language and it's a visual and anything visual comes from the right side of the brain, like art, they come from the right side of the brain. So what really happens to your baby's brain when you're signing with the baby? First they're getting a language, right? Milk, dirty, sad, happy, that's a language. But also what they get is the visual. It's what they see, which comes from the right side of the brain, right? Milk, happy, sad, dirty, right? So what happens to the baby brain? The baby brain makes synopsis. This is what happens to babies ages zero to five. There are a lot of synopsis created in the brain and baby sign language actually helps that. Can you imagine how many synapses is creating in the brain when you're using sign language? Left, right, left, right, left, right. And we're assisting your baby, actually you're assisting your baby, creating the synapses. And therefore what happens? Magic. Their brain develops more. And if you will search, I'm sure you'll find it. Baby sign language actually helps IQ and babies and children who use baby sign language, their IQ is higher in 8, 12 points when they're 8 years old. That's what the research showed. And don't sign with them because of the IQ fact. I'm just kind of like adding to that, which is so amazing what really happens here in the brain physically. So go ahead and sign with them.